All right, Tom Vial, well, 9-2 on the day. I feel like speed-wise, the result doesn't show the speed that you had today, but second moto, a lot better, right? Yeah, right. Um, I had some crush in first moto. I had a collision with another rider, I had like, like three or four. It was tough. Like, I, I was feeling good, and just that crush made me... I was 6-7. I came back to acting. I was fifth or sixth. And then I had another crush with a lapper, actually, on the start. So ended up nine first moto. The speed was good. Uh, I was happy with the speed, but too many mistakes. And um, second moto was way better. I was in the rhythm. I was third and passed Hayden two, two laps to go, I think. So uh, it was nice. I, I had a great feeling with the bike and feel like I'm getting a little bit in the rhythm. And I think for the next few races, I will be I will be there hopefully uh, tomorrow and fight for the win or, or podium for sure. Yeah, take me through that crash with Ryder in the first moto. It just looked like two lines coming together, I guess. I mean, like normally when you go inside, you go outside after. I didn't expect him to go inside, inside yeah. because since the morning, like normally you go inside and outside, so it's a double line. Yeah. So I didn't really expect him. I, I didn't jump much, but he, he even almost over jump it. And we, we just, we yeah. barely touched. It was not a big impact, but barely touched at the landing. And then we both, both crashed. So yeah, we were third and fourth. So when he's first few laps in the first moto is for sure we lost a lot of position and also physically is, is tough so yeah it was not the, the way I wanted to start uh, the first moto but um, yes yeah, like this. Coming uh, off of Thunder Valley you had that crash and you you, were, you missed the second moto are you still feeling any ill effects from that crash or are you back to 100%? I'm back to 95 let's say my wrist my wrist is getting better I, I had some struggle a little bit the last two weeks but it's getting better when I'm riding today was fine so no for sure I think we're on a good way and Hopefully we can be a good week of training and be ready for, for the next race in the sand. It's going to be a nice one, I think. We're, we're now in these East Coast tracks, long, deep ruts kind of everywhere. Um, how has the bike felt to that you know, changeover? You don't get as much play with the bike as you do in GPs here. So has the change been OK for you? Yeah, actually, we, we walk on the bike. Bike was fine today, especially yeah. second moto. We, I had a good feeling. Didn't change the bike the whole day. So was was pretty good. I think we're on a good base with the bike. Um, we, Of course, everyone looks for better, but we're on a good base, I think, and I feel confident with the bike. So, uh, like I said, uh, with some good training, we can, we can be there, I think, next week. And uh, fighting for the... I would like to fight for in the sand for the win and, and for sure the podium. Yeah, well, so sand, right? I feel like against Iago, he maybe had the upper hand on, on you in the sand, but you're still a good sand rider. So do you look at that as something that like is an advantage for you? Because coming from Europe, you obviously train in the sand. I train a lot. I, I came from the south of Europe. So I mean, I never ride in the right. sand, only the, first, the last three, four years. So for sure, I know a little bit. I have some experience and they say the track is not like Lommel, of course, a little bit less sandy, not as deep, not as deep but um, I mean, the technique is, is going to be a little bit the same. So. Hopefully, let's see, I never ride that track, so I, I don't know where to go, you know, but hopefully we're going to have a good weekend. Yeah, well, you haven't ridden a lot of these tracks, so it's like a learning experience every time for you. Uh, what have you thought about High Point in this one? I mean, they're two tracks that are kind of legendary on the circuit. Yeah, they are both track really nice. Uh, I think Red Bud is, is cool one, like especially with the Lauco jump. <laughs> the, the jump is big. Right? First time I jump, like, it's, you just have to stand it like full gas and you just land perfectly you yeah. know so it's, I think it's one of the biggest jump I, I have jumped in my life so it was pretty cool yeah. yeah so I think I saw you the first time you did it did you do it behind Deegan like were you marking yeah. his speed is I, that what you're trying to do? yeah I jumped in the, in the practice second okay. practice didn't jump first practice because it was too wet and I saw a lot of guys kiss the tripper like yeah. so bad so I was like no way I'm gonna do that I wait is <laughs> the track dry a little bit and then I'm gonna jump and I jumped also second moto, I jumped two, three laps, I think, and then I stopped because the corner was, was not so good before.